Today, we're going to explore our new Diffusion plugin, Hazy, diving into each control to show how you can achieve a softer, dreamier look for your footage. First, you need to download and install the latest version of the plugin from our website. Once done, you can locate the plugin in the Effects tab. Simply type Hazy into the search bar and it will appear. Hazy can be applied to both sRGB and log footage. For log footage, we suggest applying Hazy before delogging for a more accurate and controllable result. Now, let's dive into the controls. The controls are organized into two sections. The first section are the main controls, with a visible drop-down list and numerical inputs. The main controls provide the basic settings for your plugin. The second section are the advanced controls, which allow for more fine-tuning and are located within the tabs. In the Manufacturer drop-down menu, select the camera brand that was used for your footage, or choose a more universal gamma group, such as ACES or standard gammas for non-log gammas. In Input Gamma, select the specific gamma for your footage, for example, S-Log3, C-Log3, Gamma 2.4, or HLG. The next step is to adjust the filter style. For better visual representation, let's switch to the Xyla chart. There are a range of different filter styles available to provide a different and unique look for your footage. These options include the likes of Black Pro Mist, Smoke, Bloom, and more. The filter strength sets the overall strength of the filter. Selecting a smaller size, such as an eighth, will result in a more subtle, tight effect around strong light sources. Selecting a larger size, such as 1, will result in a more spread out, diffused effect over your whole image. The intensity slider controls the strength within the bounds of the size of your selected filter. Increase it for a more prominent diffusion, or reduce it for a more subtle touch. The spread slider determines whether the effect is bright and focused, or softer and more diffused. As you increase the slider, the effect becomes softer and more spread out. Let's return to the Neon shot and apply those settings. Now you have the starting point of your diffusion effect. If you're looking to improve your look further, Hazy offers additional settings to help you customize the effect precisely. Each advanced section can be toggled on or off. This makes it easier to see how individual adjustments impact your footage. Using the customized response controls allows you to shape the look of your diffusion. Each filter style uses one to three layers to build up the diffusion effect. The graph contains one point per layer and the position of the points shows the appearance of each filter style. Every point based on the style has its own movement direction, which is indicated by the gray lines. You can either move the spread slider located above in the main section to modify each layer in relation to the others, or move the points individually. Now, let's return to the Xyla chart and explore the customized response controls in more detail. Moving the points horizontally will modify the spread of each layer. Moving the points vertically will subtly adjust the intensity of each layer. The leftmost point controls the falloff of the layer closest to the light source. Drag the point to the top left corner of the graph for a bright and tight look. The rightmost point is what we use to control the background scattering of light, which lifts the black levels of the image. Dragging this point to the right will lift the brightness of the pixels far away from a bright light source. The middle point is used to control the main falloff between the light source and the darker areas. Pull the point to the left for a sharp falloff, or to the right for a more gradual falloff. Let's return to the neon shot and apply those settings. Now, let's turn on the white balance section. Here, you can adjust the temperature and the tint of the effect to fine tune its overall color. Quick tip, if you apply small adjustments here, you can then enhance the overall effect by boosting the saturation control for a more vibrant finish. The saturation section sets the amount of saturation within your effect. You may want to increase the saturation of the effect as brighter areas will mainly appear white. 
To increase the saturation, adjust the saturation slider by moving it to the right. If the saturation control is not having the desired effect on the bright areas, use the hue averaging slider. It will take the average color from surrounding pixels to boost the color in the brighter areas. The qualify slider controls which parts of the image are affected by the saturation sliders. Move to the left to mainly affect the highlights, or to the right to affect the darker areas as well. The Exposure section allows you to increase the overall exposure of the effect. You can boost the power of the effect by up to 5 stops using the Exposure slider. Additionally, you can adjust the color of the lightest part of the effect with the red, green, and blue sliders. Each color channel can be increased or decreased by up to 5 stops as well. The Tone Mapping control adjusts the clip level of the output tone mapping, giving you better control over the roll-off of the highlights. Exposure Qualify controls what parts of the image are the most affected by the exposure sliders. Move left to affect mainly the highlights, or to the right to affect the darker areas as well. Enable the Diffusion Map to visualize where the effect is being applied. This view shows the difference between the input and the output, and in simple words, bright areas on the map show where the image is being modified the most. Another useful tip is while you're grading, if you need a hint for what any of the settings do, simply click on the help label at the top of the plugin underneath the logo. A box will then appear explaining what each control does. Now that we've explored the controls, let's see Hazy in action with two examples. Firstly, let's create a golden hour effect for this shot. You can do it in two different ways. To create a soft golden hour effect, we'll start by applying the bloom style at 5% strength. Next, we'll reduce the overall spread, boost the exposure, and adjust both the white balance and saturation. We'll add a touch of red to the overall shade, using the red channel in the exposure section. In this case, we can see how the temperature slider adds warmth to the entire image by affecting the diffusion throughout. To add a golden glow solely to the window highlights, apply the bloom style at 5% strength. Reduce the overall spread by moving the spread slider left. Next, boost the bloom by moving the exposure slider right. Then, adjust the red and blue sliders to achieve the desired golden orange color and increase the diffusion slightly by moving the qualify slider right. Finally, move the intensify slider to the left to make the diffusion softer. Let's compare. Here's the original shot. And here it is with Hazy's Bloom effect applied with temperature sliders. And here it is with Hazy's Bloom effect applied with exposure sliders. For this low light shot, we'll apply the Haze filter style at half strength. Next, we will adjust the spread using the spread slider, increasing it to 65 and lower the rightmost point slightly outside of the style direction to soften the diffusion effect. After that, we'll tune in the white balance by shifting the temperature and tint sliders to the left to achieve this nice neon blue. Additionally, we will increase the saturation and add the hue average to enrich the color in the lighter areas. By shifting the saturation qualify to the right, we can add the diffusion effect to the darker areas, such as the background tubes which are currently unaffected. Finally, we'll increase the exposure slider to intensify the diffusion and move the green slider to deepen the blue into the lighter areas. And there you have it, a stunning neon shot highlighted by Hazy. Let's compare. Here's the original shot. And here it is with Hazy's Haze Effect applied.
and that's hazy. If you're ready to elevate your footage with customizable, dreamy diffusion effects, you can purchase the plugin on our website. Click the link in our description below to get started. Thanks for watching and happy grading!